America should care what happens in Russia. Because Russia has nuclear weapons. <laughs> you better care. <laughs> People do not have any sense of the impending danger. That is what worries me. How come you don't understand that you are dragging the world into a completely new direction? President Trump is a professed admirer of Russian President Putin. How will this budding bromance play out for U.S.-Russian relations? Common sense says this cycle, this horrible cycle of hostility, must end and ideally will end soon. Good for both countries. Some say the Russians won't be reasonable. I intend to find out. Russia as a nation with a unique level of spirituality. We're very different. As far as I'm concerned, I would never get close with any foreigner. I simply do not relate to them. I talk to them, I can speak Spanish, French, and of course English, but I do not have any connection with them, something that I feel from my own countrymen. I think spiritually we're very different. I thought of myself as of a specialist in predicting potential futures for Russia, and I thought that I can really uh, understand the, the soul of, of my people. Uh, but the, the things that are cur currently happening are beyond my imagination. When Russia opened up, it was very pro-Western in the 90s. Russia was very charmed by the Western culture, especially by the American popular culture. And there was a craze for the Western music and the, the Western literature and the Western clothes, you know, and everything. But the love affair between America did not last long. I have a feeling that in many ways the current Russian like anti-Western mood is engineered. It's engineered because the West is asking the Russian authority to play by the Western rules, which is transparency and rotation. And the Russian rulers do not want to rotate. They want to stay in power forever. Putin is able to stay in power with the help of young people like Lisa, a 19-year-old student at Moscow State University's elite school for foreign affairs. She is also a typical teenager who loves to eat, shop, and hang out with her friends. Her university is famous for educating the grown children of the Kremlin elite, and graduates can expect top positions in Putin's government. I believe that the surrounding world could not understand us for a long time. We were, I'm not afraid of this word, sort of backwards. And now we are building a new brand for our country. Such events as Sochi Olympic Games and political actions unifying Crimea with Russia are leading our country to the next level, to become a well-known brand. I believe that there is a media war against Russia. Because of that, Many people are not able to filter and comprehend information that comes from media sources. They will read or see something on the main TV channels, and they blindly believe in it. If the media says it, then it's the truth. People are easily led. Today, state Duma deputies discuss the scandalous information that the American CIA has access to the databases of major global internet corporations and can start surveillance on a global scale, including spying on Russian citizens. It's always a very difficult question for me how I see myself in 10 years. I will not go against the system because there are examples of those who went against it and they're in prison. I do not want to repeat their fate. I don't know, I will suppress myself, I will try to have a fine attitude towards it, I will reconcile myself, but I will not go against the system. Eighty-five percent of Russians formally support Putin, giving the Russian leader enormous power to impose new laws that threaten imprisonment for insulting the feelings of religious believers or for standing up for homosexual rights.
This new Russia looks a lot like a totalitarian apocalypse to 37-year-old Dmitry Gulhovsky, the author of the best-selling cult novel Metro 2033, which sold millions of copies worldwide, is an Xbox 360 video game and soon to be a Hollywood movie. Metro 2033 is exactly the story of World War III. And when I was writing that and composing the story and imagining it, we were quite far from this level of confrontation with the West. Russia was still in the honeymoon with the West. How did it happen that Russia is back on the Soviet track? We met Dmitry at the launch of his new book, Metro 2035. His fans flooded the Moscow bookstore, hoping to get a glimpse of the brilliant author. Aren't you afraid that your prediction of the future is more and more becoming true? I think that the use of a TV for the sake of propaganda has been one of the most outrageous in, in the modern history and one of the most efficient in modern history. Seven billion people hate you, Americans, because you put your troops everywhere. You impose your rotten democracy and your bogus dollar, scaring everyone and bringing the world to the brink of nuclear war. All the television channels, all the main newspapers, and all the big internet resources are being controlled directly or indirectly by the state. There are also a horde of these trolls who go to all imaginable websites, including the websites who take the, the liberal, you know, pro-Occidental, uh, you know, just independent position on the Facebook pages, on the VK.com, the Russian social network pages, and they just, you know, flood them with the, the pro-Putin comments. Opposition activists created a list of troll nicknames seen on multiple websites, and attempts to access the page resulted in an error message from the Russian Ministry of Communications. Goebbels would admire it, not only me, you know, uh, and this is absolutely amazing. A good government can no more exist without propaganda than good propaganda without a good government. I would like to congratulate all Americans who achieved the victory of Donald Trump. Today is a great celebration in America. Everybody drinks champagne to your health, Donald Trump. Oh,